Brought to you by Duralast. So can you upgrade a customer to an AGM battery for a flooded battery application? You can install an AGM battery into a flooded battery application. An AGM battery will give the vehicle more cold cranking power and greater resistance to heat and vibration. However, you never want to downgrade a vehicle that came with an AGM battery to a flooded battery. How are AGM batteries better than flooded lead acid? AGM batteries have a low internal resistance, which helps maintain voltage output for extended periods of time. Other battery types lose power when resistance is high and excessive heat is generated. And if you find a customer battery in need of replacement, make sure you replace the battery with the correct battery design. Heavy cycling situations like start-stop technologies can put a heavy demand on a standard battery used for starting, lighting, and ignition and shorten battery life significantly if the wrong battery type is used. When it comes to batteries, make sure you use one that is up to the task. The Duralast Pro Power lineup offers technicians and shop owners the batteries they need to get their customers back on the road. Can an AGM battery leak? AGM batteries are spill-proof. An AGM battery electrolyte solution is kept in place, being absorbed by the glass mat, which prevents it from flowing freely. What if I think an AGM battery is leaking? Liquid near the vent hole may seem like it is leaking due to condensation, but this would not be the result of a manufacturing defect. However, if the leak is located near the holes on top of the cells, it could indicate that the battery overheated during charging, possibly due to the use of an analog battery charger. If the case is bulging or cracking, it may indicate that the battery was exposed to freezing temperatures during discharge. What is the charge time of an AGM versus a flooded lead acid? AGM batteries have been found to charge faster than flooded lead acid batteries. Since power is not dissipated due to the low internal resistance in AGM batteries, these batteries reach full charge quickly. However, the rules of discharge and charging remain in effect. Slow discharge corresponds to a slow charge period, and fast discharge corresponds to a quick charge period. What is an AGM's cold temperature tolerance? AGM batteries are more susceptible to cold temperatures compared to flooded batteries. An AGM battery freezes more easily at a lower state of charge. Depending on battery size, anything under 50% state of charge is prone to freezing. Any other disadvantages to the AGM batteries? To me, there are no disadvantages, just differences. As I have stated before, internal resistance is different for AGM batteries, and this changes how we test and charge batteries. It has also changed the last steps of battery replacement, which is now to reset or calibrate the battery monitor so the battery management can properly charge the battery. Wow, that was interesting. Is there anything else we should know about AGM batteries? There are three important rules when dealing with AGM batteries. First, use a digital charger that has an AGM mode. Second, you should never replace an AGM battery with a flooded battery that is due to economic reasons. Third, check the service information to see if the battery management system needs to be reset.